So I was interested based upon what we were talking about before about just sobriety and uh, sometimes you, people don't like to look back. So when you look at that that mug on your desk right now, that the Guns N' Roses Faster Pussy Cat mug, like, that's awesome. You still have it and there's highlighters and pens in it. Does it all flood the, the good feelings flood back or is it kind of like, whoa, I'm kind of glad I survived that or do you uh, like, how do you? You know, again, I, it's, it's kind of the age old question, too. And uh, do you prefer when people look at it, sleaze rock or hair metal? Like, it's just, uh, I guess it's all the encompassing of like what memories flood back. Cause even all for me, I, I look all back good. and like, yeah. There's certain things like that is all good. Cause it was just everything was new. We were kids. It was fun. GNR, Izzy, Izzy was like one of my first friends in LA ever. And that's how I got to be friends with GNR is from Izzy. And Izzy used to come up on stage with us and play it before we got our record deal and shit with Electra. So, and then when they were going over there, they took us with them, you know. So was, they brought us. It was their deal and GNR. So I was always grateful for that. And we always, you know, the cat house and everything it was kind of like a big family. It was fun. You know, it, was, it brings back really good memories. I actually could have worn my cat house sweatshirt that I bought off Ricky Rackman's website. Not as cool, I <laughs> guess, as, as getting uh, it sent to you from Mark Alexander Erber. I'll actually give that because I was going to ask you uh, via a listener, Erica, about what you, a GNR member you were closest to. And it's cool that you said Izzy because he's a man of, of mystery that really hasn't been – you don't see much or, or hear of him now. I, mean, I know. I don't even know where the fuck he is. Last I heard, he was had a studio and a place down and down by the beach, Santa Monica and stuff. And that was like, I miss him. He, I, he was always just a, such a great, great guy to me and, and the band, you know. 